Hello, and welcome to a core workout with water bottles and more. So you can get go get two water bottles, put me on hold, and come on back. Uh, your options are to fill them with water. If you want something heavier, you can put sand, dirt, flour, sugar, anything that you have available. So they're used as a prop. Uh, so weighted or non-weighted, your choice. If you don't want to use a water bottle, you don't have to. Um, we are going to start by warming up as always. We're gonna, some of us may have been sitting for a while and we need to get our body pumping and the blood flowing and move things around so that it uh, feels better when we do our core and we can do it better. So just start by sidestep right and left. You don't have to move with me, just keep moving. And then swing the arms side to side. If you like music going while you're doing your workouts, I encourage you to put that on in the background and then bring your hands to your hips, bring your leg behind. Just touch back. So a little hip action. Again, you don't have to move with me. It doesn't have to be pretty, you just move. And now come across the front. You can point your toe, you can flex your foot. So toes or heels, doesn't matter. And then add an overhead reach if you want. Remember, everything's an option. You can move faster or slower. You can take breaks throughout the workout, eliminate things that you don't want to do or that really aren't for you today. So listening to our body and then back to a sidestep, no arms. And go ahead and leave your toes out wide. And then we're going to do lunges side to side. So again, don't worry, we'll get to the core. We're just trying to warm the body up, get things moving, and then reach across the body, stretch. And then overhead, hope you're having a great day. If not, hopefully it'll get better during this core workout or after. And then let's just hold one side, stretch out the side body. Imagine you're dropping water out of your ears, let your head hang. And then come through the middle and change sides. And let's do that again. Once more each way. Big old stretch. And then change sides once more. And bring it back center. Step your feet about hip distance apart. Take your left arm overhead and slide your right hand down your thighs. So stretching out the side, side body unweighted and bring it back center, change sides, other arm over the top, hips and shoulders are square to the wall in front of you. And bring yourself up, bring your arm across your body, again, left arm or other, it doesn't matter. And then we'll change sides, bring the other arm across, hug it in. And release. Nice job. Go ahead and grab your water bottles, again, with or without weights. If you have weights, you can grab those instead, but I would encourage you to start light. So what we're going to do is just a side bend. Feet hip distance apart. Hold on to your water bottle and slide it down your leg. So go down as far as you can with your side bend without shooting your hips back or bringing your chest forward. It's like your body's up against a wall. If you want, you can bring the opposite weight weighted water bottle or unweighted or dumbbell up towards the opposite armpit. So again, just slide her down, reach it up, pull the low belly in. So they may seem easy. Trust me, you're working your core, your obliques, your pelvic stabilizer, your transversus abdominis. If you're keeping your pelvis square and you're not shooting the hips back. Let's go one more each way. And then come back center. Now take your water bottles overhead. Relax the shoulders. And now, again, not moving the hips, we're just going to lean to one side like rounding over a tennis ball. And then we're going to come back center. And then we're going to go the other way. If this is more weight than you want, set the water bottles down. Again, rounding over that imaginary tennis ball. If you're a pickleball player, that works as well. Golfer, golf ball's not quite big enough. You can also think about a small orange at the waistline. Let's do a couple more each way. Make sure you breathe and pull the low belly in. 
and come back center. Bring the dumbbells, our weighted water bottles down. And you're gonna take one water bottle, place it above your knees. The other water bottle, grab both ends. And we're gonna do squats. So we're gonna sit down and drive up through the heels. So sit and drive up. We're squeezing the water bottle gently. And what that does is help us engage our adductors, our inner thigh muscles, which also helps us engage our core muscles. So try and get everything to work together, play together well, so that we move well. The next time you come down, stay down and hold. Stay here, neutral spine with our low back. If you want, lift the arms up, biceps next to the ears without arching the back. Again, drop it down if you're arching, bring it back shoulder height. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Let's not forget to breathe. Lift and lower. Lift. And lower two more. Lift and lower one more. Lift and lower. Bring the hands down, come up to standing. Again, water balls above your knees. Just hold on to your other water bottle, weight heavy in your right leg, left leg comes up. So squeeze in your, uh, your water bottle gently. So you don't want to squeeze so hard that the pop front the top pops off. And then we're gonna add some arm movements. So using our core. Our balance, we added that extra weight. Last week we did balance work without the weight. Today we've got our weighted water bottle or dumbbell if you prefer, if you have one. Again, try to stay as stable and still as possible with the legs. And it's okay to wiggle around, it's your body finding its place in space. Proprioception, it's like our internal GPS. Last one, great job. Transfer the weight heavy in the left leg. Gently squeeze your water bottle. And again, push the floor away. Let's add some arms. Sometimes we find one side is easier than another or one side is harder than the other. Depends on which way you wanna look at it. Again, standing tall, low belly snug. As we breathe, energy going up. Couple more. Great job, everybody. Let's do one more. Whoopsie. Nice job, set it down. Grab one bottle in each hand. Feet hip distance apart, we're gonna do our side bends again. So we're gonna slide the water bottle down our leg, so keep it up against the body. It's not cheating, I just wanna make sure that we're staying in nice and tight. Again, rounding over that imaginary tennis ball, pick a ball, small orange. You can think about a tomato. You like tomatoes. Great job. Let's do one more on each side. Nice job. All right, holding onto those water bottles. Feet a little wider than hip distance apart, toes turned out. Bend your knees, drop down into a mini squat. We're going to keep our knees and our pelvis stable, and we're just going to rotate our torso. Side, center, side, center. So think about wringing your insides out. Exhale, inhale. Good job. Again, don't let the pelvis move. Don't let your knees waver. So working on thoracic mobility, pelvic stability. Again, with or without your water bottles, with or without dumbbells, if those work better for you. Good job, let's do one more. Bring the dumbbells down, the weights, straighten your legs. Take your arms out to T position is what I call it. Bend your knees, drop your hips. Again, low belly snug. And now rotate again without letting the pelvis move. So we've lengthened the lever. Added more intensity, again, with or without your dumbbells, it's an option. So if you know it's not for you to do the weights, please put them down. Remember, this is for you. No competition with anyone else. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Pelvis stays still. 
Last time each way. Good job. Bring your weights down. Straighten your legs. Step your feet together. Go and put your water bottles off to the side. And the next thing we're going to do is single leg stretch. So we're going to come down on to our back side. Make sure your water bottles aren't so close. You're going to tip them over. And single leg stretch if you've never done it before. Legs are going to be in the air. And we're going to extend one leg out long. So I'm going to go through the base moves first. So heads down. This is the leg motion. Low back flat to the floor. You're reaching your leg out like you're pressing down on a ball. So it's exhale, inhale. If you want more, roll through the head, neck, and shoulders. If you want more, float the arms up. If you want more, hug your ankle as one leg comes in. And then switch and switch. Again, you can come out of it as much as you want. Head goes down, head goes up. Just make sure that your low back is flat to the floor to protect it. Relax the shoulders if you can. Exhale. Reach. 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 Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring both knees in. Set your feet down one at a time. Grab your water bottles. You're going to place them in the crease of your hip. One water bottle on each hand. And you're going to roll up. Try to bring the bottles to your knees and then come back down to the crease of your hip. So you're rolling up, looking between your thighs and rolling down. So it's a partial roll up, roll up, roll down, roll up, roll down. So concentrating on moving, rolling up and not just lifting up. More of a curl up. Good job. Let's do two more. One more. Great job. Go ahead and put your water bottles overhead. And now we're going to go into, or off to your sides, I should say, double leg stretch. So legs up. Again, head can be down. So your motion is legs out. Shoot them out nice and strong. Think about drawing your inner thighs towards each other. And then bring your knees in. Knees, again, go towards our nose and not away from them because then we'll arch our back. And eventually, over time, it's not going to like it. So legs out, legs in. If you want more, roll through the head, neck, and shoulders. Legs out. Legs in. If you want more, arms float up. If you want more, add the arms. Arms go overhead. Circle around to the ankles. Exhale. Double leg stretch. Again, coming in and out of it. You can do it with the arms with the head down. Just make sure the low back is flat. Breathe. Circle. Reach. Circle. Reach. Circle. Reach. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Bring the knees in. Lower your head down. Rock side to side. Massage your low back on the floor. And then release. One foot to the floor at a time. Grab your water bottles. Extend your legs long. Arms long overhead. You're going to bring the water bottles to your shoulders, and then you're going to roll them down your body, and you're going to roll up, rolling those legs, rolling the bottles all the way down to the ankles, and then you're going to roll back up. So again, bottles stay connected to our bodies until we reach our shoulders, they go overhead, they come back to the shoulders, roll down our chest, our waist. If the feet pop up like mine are a little bit, that's okay, just over time they'll stay down. If you want a little assistance or need a little assistance, you can bend the knees and roll up and then add a lift and then come back down or just do a partial roll up, which we did those before. We roll the water bottles to the knees and then slid back down. So again, water bottles stay connected to our body. Our chin is lightly tucked like we're holding that small orange again. Pickleball, tennis ball. Good job. A couple more roll-ups. Again, you're doing a great job. And let's do one more for fun. 
Good job. Go ahead and put the water bottles off to your side. Bend the knees, drape your chest over your thighs and roll on down. We're going to go back to that single leg stretch. So legs back up. So again, one leg out at a time, head down. If you want more, head up. If you want more, add the arms. Exhale, exhale, breathe. We can do it. Single leg stretch. If you want it harder, roll up higher. Four, three, two, one. Bring both knees in, roll down. One foot to the ground at a time. And now we're gonna go and just do a bridge lift. Arms by your side, just lift the hips up nice and high. Alternate leg lifts. So pelvis is ideally level. I don't care how high you lift your leg up. Just make sure as you lift your leg, you don't drop a hip. So a little break here, but you're still working part of your core, glutes, hamstrings, work on hip extension. Let's do one more on each side. Good job. Lower the hips down. Legs back in the air, tabletop. Going to go back to our double knee stretch. So both legs out, both legs in. Out, in. If you want it harder, roll through the head, neck, and shoulders. If you want it harder, add the arms, take your hat off, and circle to the ankles. Exhale. Again, if you want it harder, roll up higher. Legs are active as you shoot them out. Think about drawing the inner thighs towards each other. Great job. Four, three, two, and one. Great job. Circle the knees in, lower yourself down. Feet about hip distance apart, a little farther away from our bodies. And let's go ahead and do a roll up. So roll all the way up, grab behind those thighs to lift. Gonna come up into tabletop. So fingers are gonna point towards our hips. Think about lifting the chest, the heart, and then drive the hips up. So we're just gonna do a partial tabletop. We're not gonna go all the way up. So we're gonna be here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a kick and a set. Kick and a set. Kick and a set. So this is what I call A. And then if you want more, we're gonna add opposite arm, opposite leg. Kick and reach. Kick and reach. So the hips are going to drop, and then you're going to drive to lift. Drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift. You can do it. Drop, lift, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Go ahead and set the hips down. Drape your chest over your thighs. If you can't grab your toes, pop them out. Bring your knees towards your nose. And now we're going to do our rock and roll. So hands are lighter on our shins. If we need a little more assistance, they're going to be behind our thighs. Our back is as rounded as we can get it. We're balancing posterior of our sit bones. Our gaze is looking towards our pelvis. We're going to roll back and rock to the top and try to stop it. Stick it is what I call it. So the more rounded you are, the more that you're going to be working the front part of your core. So round. If you thunk, with your spine, you need to round a little more. Think about C and making a C curve with the spine. Roll back, stop at the top. Roll back, stop at the top. Let's do four more. Rock, stop. If you overshoot and the feet touch, that's okay. Just try not to rock so hard or so fast next time. Last time, rock and stop. Feet flat to the ground. Come up to your partial tabletop. Start with the legs. Like you're doing a can-can kick from tabletop. If you want more, add the opposite arm. So drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift. Beautiful. Strong. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice job. Hips come down. Let's go ahead and roll all the way down. And come over on to our bellies. And we're going to go up into our planks. So no core work is complete without doing some planks. We're going to start on our forearms. If you want a little more support, come up to the hands. 
So you can do forearms and knees, knees and hands for less challenging, or forearms and toes. So let's just get in that nice strong plank position. Make sure the butt's not high, drop her down, upper back is flat, not rounded, flatten it out, head in line with the spine. If you're on the toes, think about reaching your heels for the wall behind you, pushing your forearms into the floor, push away, good. Creating some space in those shoulder joints so we're not hunching. Long neck, wide collarbones, low belly snug, breathing. Four, three, two, and one. Lower to the knees unless you're already there. Come over onto your right side. T stand, elbow underneath the shoulder, bottom knee down, feet staggered or stacked. If you want, grab your water bottle, add a weighted extended arm, hips high, squeeze the glutes, don't forget to breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Set the water bottle down, lower down your knee, come to both forearms, roll over to the left side, left knee down, or bottom knee down, bottom knee up, feet staggered or stacked. If you want, add your water bottle lift, keep the hips high, Hips and shoulders in the same plane. Four, three, keep pushing the floor away. Two, and one, set your water bottle down. De-rotate, come back to the forearms. Again, knees or toes, upper back flat. Hips not high, bring them down. No down dogs in this one. Four, three, two, and one, great job. Drop down your knees, sit back and stretch. Big toes together, knees apart. Use the arms overhead. And come on back up. We're gonna come up to the hands now. Hands and toes, or hands and knees. And we're just gonna opposite hand, or hand touches opposite shoulder. So try not to let the hips rotate. You will shift the weight heavy into one hand. Make sure the hand is directly underneath the shoulder and not in front of it. So touch, 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 touch and hold. Push the floor away and switch, hold, and set it down. Good, lower to your forearms, hang in there. Reach through the heels, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Drop down your knees, sit back and stretch. We have one more. Going to do dead bug and variations of dead bug. So you're going to find your way onto your back again. So, dead bug, legs are back in tabletop. Head is down for stage one or level A. So you're going to just tap your foot to the ground and then bring it back up. Now, as you tap your foot, we don't want your hips to move. They don't have much of a chance of moving here, but I want you to really think about pulling the low belly in, the transversus abdominis muscle that runs like a seatbelt, runs across our low belly horizontally. Low back should be pushing into the floor as you do your tabletop taps. So dead bug. This is where you can, this is when you want to come back as we start to add intensity if you want a little more support or if you just want to rest with both feet flat on the ground. So that's stage one. Stage two is rolling up. Again, it's kind of like the hundred, but you're going to do the touch, center, touch, center, all while pushing the small of our back flat into the floor. So this is B with the roll up. All right. Even more is arms up from our chest, all right? And now we do the tabletop without the pelvis moving. So this is C. If we want D, as the left foot goes down, the right arm goes overhead, and then everything comes back center. Right leg goes down, left leg goes overhead. Everything comes center. Touch, center, touch, Center, touch, center, touch, center, 
touch, center. If you want it harder, roll up higher. If you want a little, little less intensity, take the arms down, take the head down, come back when you're ready. Touch, center, touch, center. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Bring both knees in. Let one foot come to the ground at a time. Last thing, grab your water bottles one more time. We're going to do our partial roll up. So water bottles go in the crease of our hip, feet about hip distance apart. We're going to try to roll up, bring the water bottles towards our knees as high as we can, and then roll back down. So again, they slide right on up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Four, this is it. Three, two, and one. Great job. Go ahead and put your water bottles off to the side. Roll to your side. Come on up to seated. So again, this core workout, I encourage you always to, to save those. Remember, if you have not subscribed um, to the YouTube channel, please, please do. Um, so water bottles with or without water, without, if you want something heavier, put sand in them. If you have dumbbells, those work, those work well too. Um, if you're in a couple days a little sore than you wanted, especially with your torso, I would encourage you next time, maybe not fill the water bottles quite so full. If you're sore than you like, or if you want more, add something a little heavier in your water bottles, um, or get your dumbbells out if you have them. So thank you so much for joining me, core, water bottles, and more.